Today's special guest is Tanya from Threads All Mode, and she's going to show us how to create holiday photo props. So welcome, Tanya. Thanks. Thanks for having me. These are such a fantastic idea, and they're just so much fun. Yes, they are pretty cute. What made you, what gave you the idea of doing holiday photo Well, props? I feel like photo props are really popular right now. And I just thought if I do them out of fabric versus paper, fabric, they will be around for years to come. And especially during Christmas time, the holidays, you want lots of traditions. And so I just thought I'll do them out of fabric, then every year we'll be able to see how cute they are and what kinds of fun things we did with them. And tell me what you do at your house. You were telling me earlier with these. Okay, so I have this big container of photo props sitting by my front door. And I put a piece of fabric with a little rick rack, kind of made it cute, but it's a long piece of fabric. And I just tacked it. I have a wooden door, so I tacked it into my door. And so that creates a backdrop. And then every time, either when people come or when they leave, we make them pose with the photo props. And so, isn't this fun? A beard, Santa's beard. Yes. So, <laughs> I bet the kids get into it and they oh, love it. Oh, everybody loves it, yeah. And some little kids came over the other day and they could not keep their hands off of them. They just love them. So, so. works out great. Well, great. Well, show, show me how you make these Okay, well, first you're going to start with the pellon. This pellon is fusible on both sides. That way, you um, it's really stable and stiff mm -hmm. so and it works great yeah this is 20 inches so if you want to make everything here you're going to need 20 inches of pellon and then an, you need to kind of put it together like a jigsaw puzzle so you'll take your pattern pieces and these will be available on Tanya's website threadsallamode.com and so you want to kind of put it together like a puzzle that way you'll save pellon and then you can throw in a few extra mustaches or some sunglasses something, something like yes. that yeah so that's what you'll start with and this is a really easy project like this part your kids can do because the tracing doesn't have to be perfect okay and then you um just start cutting them out and you're going to grab your fabrics and what's fun is tanya has made kits on her website so yes. if you want to purchase the kit and not and that's if you want Put everything here, like all the trims, all that kind of stuff. Otherwise, you can just use whatever you might have. So your next step is to fuse the fabric to the pellon. Remember that this is double-sided, and you'll just need to put something to protect your ironing board underneath it, some parchment paper or some extra fabric. And then you're just going to hold the iron on that and let it fuse for probably about 15 seconds. Firm, put some pressure on it, and then don't peek at it yet because if you peek, you'll kind of pull it away. Let it cool, and once it's cool, then you can, you know, take a look. Your sides are all gonna be really nice yes. and tight and fused. Okay. Yeah, so then you just start to cut. So you don't have to be too careful because we're gonna put trim around it. Yeah, you don't have to be too careful, but if you are someone who likes a Less is more. Is that what they say? Less yes. is more. <laughs> That's my, my little girls. They think I'm a little over the top. <laughs> so if you want it to, if you want to, you also can cut it maybe an eighth of an inch bigger than the pellon and you can make, and you can fold it over. So you can do and it that, that way as well. That even looks like a fourth inch. Yeah, maybe about a quarter of an inch all the way around. Just a little bit bigger than the pellon. And, and you can fold it, fold it over if you don't want to add all the extra trim. And then also, if you do do that, if you fold it over, just make sure you add some little slits whenever there's a curve. Because then you'll need the little slits so that it'll make the curve. And you also suggested if it's this big to add yeah, more so, structure so it won't be so floppy. Yep, the little antlers are kind of floppy as well as the, the hats. They're bigger. Mm -hmm. So they need a little bit of cardstock on the back. And because this is um, double-sided, fusible pellon, you just lay it on your ironing board, put the piece of cardstock on top of it, and do the exact same. Put pressure on it for about 15 seconds. And it will fuse to the... Yeah, right. it'll totally oh, fuse to the cardstock, so that's perfect. It just makes it a little bit stiffer, and then you just cut it out the same way you cut out the bow tie. You just kind of trim around the edges. So now I'm going to embellish the bow tie, and it yes. looks like I need some mini pom-poms. Mini pom-poms are great for every project, I believe. 
Uh, I love Rick Rack, so we're going to use that as well. And, and so you're going to just um, use, this is when you get out your glue gun and perfect no sew project. Yes, this is a perfect no sew project. Some elements of this project, if you would like to sew it or prefer to sew, go right ahead. But if I like you're a no sew. You can just do this right on the edge so the pom poms pop up. Yeah, and it covers any. Um, like rough edges, anything like that. Let's see, where is our rick rack? So right along. This is, would be so much fun to do with your kids. Yes, and this really is a project kids can help you with. Some of those projects, they say they're for kids, and <laughs> they're definitely not. But this one, your kids can definitely help you with. Let's see if that rick rack I'll is. Take oh, you scissors. need the scissors. Okay. Last little bit. And these white pom poms look like little snowballs. Yes, I loved them for that reason. Looked like a little puff of snow. Okay, so that's just adhering. I so did. Then you did the rickrack. Yep, on the I end. did the rickrack on the edges just because I thought all the different trims and um, embellishments looked cute together if you mixed it up. Like you can see on that little elf hat right there, it has a little bit of everything on it yeah. and it just makes it pop. So I think it's fun to have a little bit of no, everything on there. I just need a couple there. more buttons. Okay. Then our button. And just trim a little bit there. Let's see. So there's a red. And how smart. This just fits right in the middle. Yes. You planned it that way, right? Yeah, definitely planned it that way. <laughs> <laughs> and you just don't want to put glue in the yeah. holes. Yep, otherwise it'll buttons. come right through. And then you need a little chevron button. And that looks adorable. So and I thought it, it looks was like cute. you finished it off with a pom pom in the center. Yep, I thought it was cute just like it is. But you have to take it over the top. That's always a little bit more fun and then put that little pom-pom right in the center. Very cute. Perfect. So now you just need to add the stick. Yep. So you've got a stick right here. You just put a little bit of hot glue on the and back. this is just a dowel that you got yeah. at the hardware store. Yep. Our local hardware store. It's about they, a fourth inch. And they come really long. So I cut mine into three different sections. But they're like 48 cents. So you get three of them, three I'm sticks for cheap. Yep. Let me just put a significant amount of glue on the back, I think, just to make sure it really stays for when all those little kids are playing with them. Maybe cover it up really good. Yeah. Well, I think I'm going to buy one of your kits because I want it all made for me. <laughs> <laughs> but this is adorable and you can use your scraps, but yeah. Yeah, and you can use any type of fabric, but I think it's really fun with the Christmas fabric for the holidays. And so. I think giving these to neighbors is a great idea, very memorable. Yeah, something that they'll keep for a long time, and I bet that they'll remember who gave them to them because they'll have so much fun with them. Well, thank you, Tanya. What a great idea for the holidays. Thanks for having me.